Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Military Forces Unleashed. Today we're diving into a beast of a transport aircraft, and guess what? It's not from Boeing or Lockheed. No, this one comes straight out of Brazil. Yeah, you heard that right. Brazil. We're talking about the Embraer KC-390, the military transport aircraft that's been making some serious waves in the global defense scene. But like all military projects, it's got its highs, its lows, and a whole lot in between. So buckle up as we take a look under the hood of this Latin American warhorse. The KC-390 is all about versatility. At least that's the sales pitch. It's a medium-lift military transport aircraft, designed to be faster than the tried-and-true Lockheed C-130 Hercules, while carrying roughly the same load. Its modern design is hard to ignore. A sleek, high-wing structure gives it a futuristic feel, but let's not get too distracted by appearances. At its core, the KC-390 is built to haul up to 26 tons of cargo or 80 fully equipped troops. Though whether it's carrying crates, soldiers, or even armored vehicles, it's meant to be a Swiss army knife of the sky. Now, one of Embraer's key goals with the KC-390 was to make it maintenance friendly. For countries without the endless military budgets of, say, the United States, that's a big selling point. The aircraft is designed so parts can be swapped out quickly, minimizing downtime and keeping it mission ready. That's a nice touch if you're working on a tight budget or trying to keep a small fleet operational during a long deployment. But here's the rub. While the KC-390's sleek design and easier maintenance schedule sound great in theory, some experts question whether it's built to take the same kind of punishment as the C-130. Let's be honest. The Hercules, despite its age, has earned a reputation for being practically indestructible. From deserts to frozen tundras, the C-130 can handle extreme environments without blinking. The KC-390, on the other hand, may not have that same ruggedness baked into its DNA. Sure, it's faster and cheaper to maintain, but is it as field-ready as its predecessor when things go south in harsh conditions? Some military insiders are convinced. When you're talking about real-world deployments in the middle of nowhere, toughness still counts for something. The KC-390 is all about versatility, or at least that's what Embraer had in mind when they drew up the blueprints. Unlike the lumbering, yet beloved, C-130 Hercules, whose design dates back to the 1950s, the KC-390 was meant to blend speed, efficiency, and the same cargo capabilities into one modern package. We're talking about a medium-lift aircraft that can move up to 26 tons of cargo. Whether it's crates of supplies, 80 fully armed troops, or even a couple of armored vehicles, the KC-390 can fit them all in its belly and still zip through the skies faster than the C-130. But speed isn't everything. The KC-390's high-wing structure gives it a sleek, almost fighter jet-like silhouette. But don't let looks fool you. This plane was built to be practical. Embraer made sure that maintenance would be a breeze. Components were designed to be swapped out quickly, meaning less downtime between missions. That's a pretty big deal for countries that don't have the endless money pits the U.S. military enjoys. When your defense budget isn't overflowing with cash, the ability to get your planes back in the air fast becomes critical. Now, all of that sounds pretty great on paper. A faster plane with the same payload as the C-130 and easier maintenance? Sign me up. But here's where things get a little murkier. Some military experts aren't entirely sold on the KC-390's durability. The C-130, for all its age, is known for being a rugged workhorse that thrives in the worst conditions imaginable. It's been flown in desert heat, frozen tundras, and war zones, where the runway is more of a suggestion than a reality. The KC-390, while no slouch, hasn't quite proven itself in the same way. Critics argue that while the KC-390 might be faster and easier to maintain, it might not have the same battlefield toughness as the C-130. This isn't to say the KC-390 is fragile, but when you're flying into the middle of nowhere, carrying vital supplies or troops, you want a plane that can take a beating and keep flying. Some experts feel the KC-390 just isn't as field-ready 
as its older, battle-tested counterpart. Well, unlike its C-130 gunship cousins, the KC-390 doesn't come with an arsenal of guns or missiles strapped to its wings. That's not really its gig. But it does have provisions for self-defense, like chaff and flare dispensers to jam incoming missiles. The real weapon here is the aircraft's ability to function as an in-air refueling tanker. That's right, this baby can top off jets and helicopters mid-flight, making it a force multiplier for any air force. No bombs, but in a dogfight, it might just be the plane keeping the jets fueled and in the sky. When it comes to power and propulsion, the KC-390 doesn't mess around. Under its sleek frame, you'll find two International Aero Engines V2500-E5 turbofans, the same type used in many commercial jets. These bad boys give the KC-390 a top speed of 870 km per hour, making it significantly faster than its predecessor, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, which maxes out at around 620 km per hour. This extra speed isn't just for show. It allows the KC-390 to outmaneuver potential threats, and, in the world of military operations, shaving off precious minutes can make the difference between success and disaster. Now, the fuel efficiency of these engines is another win for the KC-390. With rising fuel costs and the demand for long-range missions, having engines that sip rather than guzzle fuel is a huge advantage. You can bet that military planners are smiling at the thought of fewer fuel stops during global deployments. But before we pop the champagne, there's one little caveat. While these engines are great on paper, they haven't been tested in the rough-and-tumble environments that the Hercules has lived through for decades. Turboprops, like those on the C-130, are known for their ability to handle dirt runways, desert heat, and arctic cold. The KC-390's turbofans, for all their power and efficiency, haven't faced that kind of battlefield trial yet. And in the unforgiving world of military logistics, sometimes the ruggedness of an aircraft counts more than the stats on a spec sheet. So while the KC-390 might outpace, outlast, and outrun the Hercules, some skeptics wonder if it can outsurvive it. Only time, and a few tough deployments, will tell. Despite its relatively recent entry into service, the KC-390 has already seen some action. Brazil's Air Force has been using it for disaster relief operations, troop transport, and medical evacuations. It's also been sold to countries like Portugal and Hungary, both of which need a transport aircraft that can handle diverse missions. The KC-390 was even used in humanitarian missions during the COVID-19 pandemic, transporting medical supplies across the globe. However, it's yet to be tested in a high-stakes combat scenario. So while it's been busy, we're still waiting to see how it handles under fire. Ah uh, yes, here come the wrinkles in the otherwise smooth fabric of the KC-390 story. First off, delays. Lots of them. The initial rollout was supposed to happen in 2012, but by the time the plane was actually delivered, it was 2019. That's seven years of budget overruns, design tweaks, and technical issues. Then there's the cost. For a country like Brazil, every dollar counts, and the KC-390 wasn't cheap. Critics have pointed out that while the aircraft delivers on versatility, it still can't completely replace the C-130 in rugged, unpaved runways or in extreme weather conditions. And then there's the size. While it's faster, it's also smaller, limiting its overall cargo capacity in comparison to the Hercules. The KC-390 isn't just a transport plane. It's Brazil's statement that they're ready to play with the big boys in the global military arena. Developed by Embraer, this aircraft is a milestone for Brazil's defense industry proving that innovation can come from unexpected places. Sure, the KC-390 might not have the battle-hardened reputation or ruggedness of the C-130 Hercules, but it's a testament to Brazil's ability to build serious military hardware, competing against giants like Lockheed Martin and Boeing. More than trying to knock the C-130 off its throne, the KC-390 is opening doors for future advancements in military aviation. Despite the usual criticisms about its toughness in extreme environments, the aircraft represents a crucial step forward for both Embraer and Brazil. It's not just about building a plane, it's about showing the world that a smaller country can
can still make big moves on the global stage. And the KC-390 is just the beginning of what Brazil has to offer in defense tech. That's it for today's breakdown of the Embraer KC-390. If you enjoyed this deep dive into military aviation, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on the world's most advanced military tech. Now before I go, I owe you all a quick apology. I know it's been a while since the last video, and some of you might have wondered if I'd gone AWOL. Truth is, I've been down for the count, sick as a dog, but I'm back on my feet now and ready to get things rolling again. So expect regular uploads from here on out. Drop a comment below if you think the KC-390 can eventually replace the C-130, or if Brazil bit off more than it could chew with this project. See you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay safe.